on the road, in the air, on the water. Buckle up. Always wear a life jacket. Hey there, guys. We're here with Josh, owner of Hornbeck Boats, and they make something called a pack boat, which I wasn't really familiar with until last year when I came. But first off, can you help us understand a little bit more about what a pack boat is and what it's good for? Sure. So pack boats historically have been boats that have been around for hundreds of years, uh, but they okay. really became popular in the late 1800s by a boat builder named John Henry Rushton. Okay. who built boats for a gentleman named George Washington Sears. His pen name was Nesmuk. Okay. And he wanted to go travel in the Northeast Wilderness, which is now the Adirondack Park. He didn't want to hire a guide because guides were 250 a day. So he wanted to go with his little canvas pack yep. and a tiny little boat. He, he was a little guy. He was 5'3", 103 pounds when he was healthy. And he wanted to be able to go off and do those things for himself. So Rushton started building boats for Nesmuk to do those things. They were made out of cedar strips. Uh, sit on a little cedar plank and you typically paddle with a double bladed paddle and he was okay. able to do these boats at 13 14 15 pounds to go off and explore by himself uh, a couple of them are pretty famous these days there was a nine footer known as the sari gamp and there was a 10 foot six which was originally known as the susan nipper okay. and the name was eventually changed to the wee lassie so a lot of people hear the term <laughs> wee lassie and that's the little boat that people think about so uh, my father-in-law was peter hornbeck and around 50 years ago, he was in the Adirondack Museum and saw one of Rushton's designs. Uh, Pete had been a kayaker, but didn't like climbing into cockpits. And he thought, what happens if I take one of Rushton's designs and I build something like that out of fiberglass? Cool. But Pete was a little bigger. He was more my size, so he needed a little bit more freeboard, a little deeper boat. So he kind of tweaked it a little bit and designed what we call the Lost Pond Boat or our 10 foot classic. Um, and that's what we're standing that's in front of That's what we're standing here. in front of here. Okay. So we, gave up Kevlar or gave up fiberglass in the late 70s when he started building with Kevlar and said, wow, this is a lot lighter, this is a lot stronger, let's stick with this. Uh, so we're approaching about the 50 year anniversary of this particular boat. Wow. It's still by far our most popular seller. Yeah. Um, it's a simple boat, it's lightweight. You have uh, kind of classic Adirondack styling with the curves, the hollowness and the bow and the stern. That's going to give you a nice natural lift in the water. The water wants to push underneath it and follow the lines. Yeah. Uh, what I love so much about it is how light it is. And yeah. it's like if you're one person, you yes. can grab it quickly, right. chuck it onto your roof, go to the next yep. lake or river or yeah. whatever it is, and portage or carry <laughs> your boat to the next pond that sure. you need to get exactly. to. Like, yeah. Exactly. So we've... We've stuck with kind of the traditional mindset of the way pack boats were built. Yep. We try to keep them very simple. We don't really want to add anything to them. Anytime you're adding features, you're adding weight. Okay. And the idea is to give you what you need to be a minimalist out there paddling to be able to go off and do what you want. Okay. Some people do them for those sorts of activities. Yep. A lot of people do them now just because it's easy to put that light boat on top of your car. Yeah. And when people paddle this boat, it's yeah. paddled a little bit more like a kayak, even yeah. though it looks more like a canoe, correct? It's kind of the baby of a canoe and kayak. It kind of sits okay. in between. Okay. So it looks somewhat like a canoe, but you sit on the bottom okay. and you do use a, most people use a double bladed paddle. Okay. A little cool. bit longer than your traditional kayak paddle because yep. of the boat itself, but yeah. Yeah, yeah very, very cool. Similar. Love it. Well, thank you so much. You're that welcome. Was very thank cool you for history. stopping by. Yeah, right on. Thanks, Josh. Thanks.